What he had assumed would be mud and dirt behind the wall turned out to be something far more mysterious and ancient. As the man chipped away at the outer layer of the basement wall, the resistance he had expected was much less than usual. Stone crumbled with every hit of his chisel, and soon enough, a dark and deep cavity revealed itself. What started as a simple home renovation project had turned into an enigma, a discovery that would change everything he knew. The growing opening before him wasn't what he had expected at all. Instead of the usual dust and rubble, there was a yawning, shadowy abyss. His pulse quickened as a cold, unnerving blast of air surged from the darkness, sending a chill that ran deep into his bones. For a moment, he stood frozen, wondering what he had just uncovered. Little did he know, the dark void was more than just a hidden chamber. It was the entrance to a 1,500-year-old relic buried under the earth, a forgotten secret sealed away for centuries. His ordinary basement wall had shielded an ancient world, unseen by human eyes for millennia. The man lived in a small remote village in Turkey's Navashir province. It was a village where time seemed to have stood still. For generations, his family had resided in their sturdy stone house. Every inch of the home held the echoes of family history passed down through the years. But the house, despite its charm, had become unbearably cramped. Every corner was filled with both memories and the clutter of everyday life. As his family grew, the walls seemed to close in tighter, making even the simplest daily tasks feel overwhelming. The man had grown tired of the limitations of his living space. His financial situation prevented him from hiring skilled laborers, so he decided to take matters into his own hands. After all, it was his family's home. He knew it inside and out. He reasoned that extending the basement by knocking down a wall would be a simple and affordable solution. What harm could there be in widening the space a little? He had no idea that this seemingly straightforward decision would uncover a hidden world that had been lying dormant for centuries, right beneath his feet. Armed with basic tools and a determination to improve his family's living conditions, the man began his DIY renovation. It was an ordinary day, just like any other, when he descended into the dimly lit basement and surveyed the area. He carefully inspected the stone walls, deciding on the best place to begin. He swung his chisel into the wall, and to his surprise, the stone crumbled with ease, turning to powder as his tools made quick work of the barrier. With every strike, the wall disintegrated further, revealing more of the unknown space beyond. At first, it was exciting. Progress was faster than he had anticipated. But as he worked, something felt off. The air seemed different, colder, as if it had been untouched for centuries. The light from his dim basement flickered against the crumbling stone, casting strange shadows that made him uneasy. As he continued, the hole grew larger, and soon he broke through to the other side. Instead of solid ground or dirt, there was nothing but a gaping void. He stopped, startled. His mind reset. How could there be a hollow space behind the wall? He leaned closer, peering into the opening, but all he could see was darkness. Deep and impenetrable, his breath caught in his throat as a cold gust of wind suddenly rushed out of the hole, hitting him like a wave. Every hair on his body stood on end. The air was icy, carrying with it an eerie stillness, as though it had been trapped in that dark space for hundreds of years. His heart began to race, and his hands trembled slightly as he gripped his tools. Something was not right. Yet despite the fear creeping into his mind, his curiosity pushed him forward. What lay beyond this wall? He needed to know. He worked faster now, chipping away at the edges of the hole until it was large enough for him to crawl through. Cautiously, he grabbed a flashlight and positioned himself to enter the mysterious opening. The light barely penetrated the darkness as he crawled inside, his breathing heavy with both excitement and dread. Once through the hole, he found himself in a narrow, cold chamber. The walls were rough, carved from stone, and the air was thick with the smell of damp earth. He swept his flashlight across the space, but there was nothing. No sign of life, no objects, no markings, just emptiness. His mind whirled with questions. Why was this hidden behind the basement wall? Was this a long forgotten room or something much older? Then his flashlight caught something, a doorway partially hidden in the shadows on the far side of the chamber. With his heart pounding in his chest, he moved toward the doorway, 
his mind racing with thoughts of what might be beyond. The further he walked, the more uneasy he felt. Fear gripped him as he thought of what dangers might lurk in the darkness. Snakes, scorpions, or worse, ancient traps set by whoever built this hidden place. He took a deep breath and continued forward, his footsteps echoing eerily in the narrow space. His imagination ran wild. Visions of ancient civilizations, long buried treasures, or even the remains of those who had come before him. He had told no one of his discovery. If something happened to him, who would know where to find him? The fear was real, but so was the pull of the unknown. As he rounded the corner, his flashlight beam revealed a sight that took his breath away. A vast chamber, much larger than the first. The space opened up in front of him, like a secret world carved into the volcanic rock beneath his home. It was unlike anything he had ever seen, like something out of a legend. The walls were smooth with intricate carvings that hinted at a time long forgotten. Stairways descended deeper into the earth, leading to what seemed like more rooms, more secrets. The sheer scale of the underground structure was overwhelming. This was not just a hidden room, it was an entire underground complex. Who had built this? And why had it been hidden for so long? His mind raced with possibilities, but there was no time to dwell on them. He knew he had to get help. This was far beyond anything he could handle on his own. He retraced his steps, exiting the chamber and rushing to contact the local authorities. Soon, experts from the Turkish Antiquities Authority arrived, eager to investigate the man's incredible discovery. At first, even they were puzzled. The existence of such a massive underground structure was completely unknown to them. But as they explored further, the enormity of what they had uncovered began to sink in. After careful analysis, archaeologists confirmed that the man had stumbled upon one of the greatest archaeological finds of the modern era. The hidden chamber was not just part of a single room. It was the entrance to an ancient underground city. The experts were stunned. What they had discovered was none other than the lost city of Derinkuyu, a vast subterranean metropolis buried beneath the earth for over 1,500 years. The city, long thought to be a myth, was now a reality, uncovered by pure chance during a simple home renovation. Derinkuyu is a marvel of ancient engineering, a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the people who built it. The city extends nearly 200 feet below the surface, with multiple levels stretching 18 stories deep. Archaeologists estimate that the underground city could have housed up to 20,000 people, along with their livestock and supplies. It was a fully self-sustaining community, complete with living quarters, storage rooms, kitchens, chapels, and even burial sites. The sheer size and complexity of the city left the experts in awe. How had such a massive underground structure been built, and why had it been abandoned? The answer, they soon realized, lay in the history of the region. The city of Derinkuyu was built during the Byzantine era, a time when the surrounding area was often under threat from invaders. The Anatolian Plateau, where the city is located, is home to several active volcanoes. It is believed that the early inhabitants may have sought refuge from volcanic eruptions by retreating underground. But there was also a more immediate threat, the Arab-Byzantine Wars which had raged for centuries. The people of Derinkuyu had built their city as a fortress, a safe haven from the violence and chaos above ground. What made Derinkuyu so remarkable was not just its size, but its design. The city was carefully hidden from view, with over 100 secret entrances scattered across the surface. Each entrance was cleverly concealed, ensuring that no enemy could easily find their way inside. Even if an intruder did manage to locate an entrance, the narrow passageways were designed to allow only one person to enter at a time, making it nearly impossible for a large force to invade. The tunnels also connected Derinkuyu to other underground cities in the region, providing multiple escape routes in case of an attack. While experts marveled at the city's construction, conspiracy theorists couldn't resist speculating about its true purpose. Some claimed that the city had been built to protect its inhabitants from extraterrestrial threats, while others suggested that it was part of an ancient network of civilizations that had long since disappeared. But most researchers agreed, the city was likely built as a fortress, a refuge from the wars and natural disasters that plagued the region. As for the man who made the discovery, his identity remains a mystery. 
He has chosen to remain anonymous, perhaps overwhelmed by the attention his find has brought. But his story is a reminder that beneath our feet, hidden within the earth, lie secrets waiting to be uncovered. These ancient relics, forgotten by time, continue to shape our understanding of history. What began as a simple home renovation turned into one of the most astonishing archaeological finds of the century, a discovery that would change the course of history.